hello, I'm going to create a cover for kdp.amazon.com for a six by nine, 100 page book. And I'm going to show you how to put spine text on this cover. And I'm going to do this in Infinity Designer. It's a kind of Illustrator equivalent. It deals with vector graphics, very useful for book covers and merch and that sort of stuff, as well as print and web design and phone app design that you can do on it. But it only costs $40. So it therefore represents a huge saving as Illustrator. You have to pay a subscription for and it will end up costing you a lot more. So let's close that. And first of all, we're going to get our template. So we go to the KDP cover template generator, which is at kdp.amazon.com cover templates. And we're going to do a six by nine hundred pages with white paper color. And then we'll download that template. And as we're using Illustrator or in this case, Affinity Designer, we're going to open the PDF that's in the zip that we downloaded at KDP. So I've unzipped the zip. We go file, open, locate that file and open the PDF. And we'll give it a DPI of 300. And there is our template. And what is great about this is that we have a page here that is exactly the right size. All we've got to do is design our cover over this bottom template, save it out as a PDF, and it will be exactly the right size, exactly the right resolution for Amazon KDP. And then that book will pass the previewer and uh, will be on sale on Amazon in a matter of hours. We just got to design it first. So as we can see in the layers palette over here, it's brought in all of these layers. I really want this all as one layer. So I'm going to select that all and right click on that and group those layers together. And then I'm going to put the opacity down and I'm now going to add a few more layers by clicking this little icon. It's exactly the same as Photoshop. And now I'm going to build my design over the top of it, or I can move it up to the top and do the design on the bottom of it. So I'll uncheck that layer at the top there, the template layer the guide layer. And now I'll click on one of the lower layers and draw a box. And we want a black background. So you see what I did there? I just went to that icon that looked like a, a box. And sure enough, I drew a box. And now we want to fill it. I'll go to the color palette. And you see, just like Illustrator, we've got a fill color and a stroke color. We want to get rid of the stroke and we want that fill color to be black. There we are. So there's our black background already. We're already up and running and we can turn on that guide layer just to see where we are and see where the cover is. Look, we might as well do the um, spine text now. I'm going to make another layer above the guide layer. Let's look for the type tool and let's click once and it's created a new type layer. And now we're going to put our spine text in and I'm going to say notebook for Beaujolais lovers. <laughs> okay. Probably better if I put it into white using the same color palette there. Just give me a sec. I'm going to look up Beaujolais, let's see how you spell it and a few other things. Okay, so I've typed in the spine text there. It says notebook for Beaujolais wine lovers and drinkers. Pipe, it's Beaujolais o'clock. And the reason we're doing this is to get keywords into the title of the Amazon book and have them to be different than what's on the cover. And this is very important because what you have on the cover or the spine needs to be in the title of your book on Amazon. So the spine text is a great way of adding some keywords without cluttering up the front cover area of the book. So I'm going to click on that and select all. We want it bold and in nine points. And we know that uh, it'll be fine for Amazon. I'm now going to um, go back onto the move tool. 
I was on the type tool, but um, go in the move tool and turn it around there. I'm holding down shift, which is going to constrain it. So I get that 90 degree rotation there. And now I'm going to put the visibility of the guide layer on so I can position that spine text right in the middle. I've made a mess of it. So I'm holding down command or control space to get that right, zoom it right in. I can now move the spine text. So actually this is quite narrow. Okay, I'm going to go down to eight point, seven points. The reason I'm going down is because you don't want any of the text, not a bit of the descender there, hitting that colored area. That colored area is inside the spine. The spine is denoted by those dotted lines. However, the red area is the safe area and you don't want any text in the safe area. So um, command zero to get the zoom down so it fits into the screen. And uh, there is our spine text. Let's put it roughly into the middle. So let's click off the visibility of the guide layer. And now I want to do the cover and I'm going to do it, make it very quickly. I'm just going to do some text here and it's going to say it's Beaujolais clock. I want to do a nice sans serif font here. So I'll go back to the artistic text tool and click once. And as you can see, it's formed a, an art text layer beneath the layer I was on and type again, it's return. Beaujolais O clock, Ooh, uppercase C, like that. I'm going to select all and center it. And of course, increase the point size to 72. Give me a sec. I'm going to choose a nice font. Oh, Bodoni, definitely Bodoni, something like that. Okay, we've got a bit of an issue there with the J and the, the lowercase J and the C and the L of clock being quite near to each other. So we've got to look for the line height. It looks like the line height is here. So let's put it into 100. And I think that's quite nice. It looks a bit weird that the line spacing does look a bit weird, but I think I can live with it. The inverted commas look a bit weird as well. Uh, but that's just the Bodoni typeface. Okay, so I'm going to live with that. I'm going to put the group layer visibility back on. That's the guide layer. It's a bit weird when you're resizing it. If you don't hold down shift, it resizes it in proportion. If you do, it's out of proportion. That's opposite to um, the way it works in Illustrator. Not to worry. We've done that. Now we're going to click off the guide layer. And there is our cover. We, we have finished already. We could put a blurb on the back, but that is fine. That will upload. That will be our front cover. It will have a spine text that we'll use as the title on Amazon. So let's go save as. And we can save the native .af design file for future use for us. Let's just do that. Call it Beaujolais. But then we go export and then at the top here, we choose PDF and there's no point in choosing a uh, DPI for this because it's not rasterizing anything. But if you, if you had to, you would um, choose 300 PPI and um, the preset should be PDF for print and a nice small file size, meaning you won't have to wait long at KDP for the previewer. Double bonus there. So we'll export that, give it a title, and there you are. That will upload at kdp.amazon.com. My name's Rob from robcubbon.com. I hope you enjoyed listening. I'll see you in another video.